Hey everyone, I'm Ed here with Down a Trade. Um, it's February 22nd, 2024. And as always, we're joined by the uh, the whiz kid of trading, Varian Croft. Varian, pleasure to have you here. Awesome you to be here, man. Good, Good. man. <laughs> Good. Glad to hear it. All right, so uh, we have a fantastic topic that we're going to talk about today. I, mean, I can't wait to get started. Uh, but before we do, uh, what's going on with you in the uh, swing trade room? Man, uh, swing trade room is uh, doing nicely. So yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we had a bunch of traders today get triggered out on another one of our trades for profit. Yep. And uh, we're looking at managing another one tomorrow that uh, is looking uh, like it's going to be pretty decent also. Right. Yeah, that, so. that looks like the take profits just about. I, I I was one of those traders who did get filled today on yep. Celsius. Um, I got well, missed by a penny, but uh, <laughs> we should we should hit it. Hopefully today, if not today, tomorrow. <laughs> right. And then uh, Tesla's looking good. Uh, what else? Um, oh, and we got into a uh, poor man's covered call today. Yes, we did. Which, which is, is perfect for our, our topic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's part of our topic that we're discussing today. So yeah, uh, so that's in, that's on Apple. Uh, so yeah, let's. I, I figured let's get into it. Let's do it, man. All right, man. Sounds good. Now, the the main difference between a covered call and a synthetic covered call is basically the fact that in a covered call, you actually own the asset before you sell calls against it. And we'll cover this a little bit later, but um, I just want to touch on this real quick. Again, the, the, the big, big difference between the two is that in a covered call, the reason it's called covered is because uh, the, the position, the, the calls that you sell against the position are covered by the position themselves, hence the name covered calls. So if you own, let's say, Apple stock and you happen to be up in Apple, you can start selling um, covered calls against it and collect premium along the way. And so anyways, let's get into it. I just wanted to make that quick little distinction. Again, covered calls when you own the, um, own the underlying asset um, and synthetic covered call is something neat that that um, Varian is going to be discussing here shortly when you actually don't have to own the asset. And it obviously it's called poor man's covered call because you actually don't have to put up the money in order to, to buy the uh, the asset. So it's actually really nice. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, like, like you said, man, I mean, that that's the big, big difference is if you want to be doing just regular covered calls, you have to own 100 shares of that stock. Yeah. And Apple currently going at 180 Four dollars a share, and here I'll. All right, so here we are, just looking at Apple again, and let me clean this up. So, but like Amit was just saying, right now with Apple going right in here at one hundred and eighty-four dollars a share, if you want to own a hundred shares of this, you're having to invest eighteen thousand dollars. And of course, we're not getting into margin any of that, you know. But ultimately. It's $18,000 $18, for that asset for you to own a hundred of it. Well, the synthetic covered call, also known as the poor man's covered call, is ultimately a way to control the same amount of shares with much less investment. So in the case of today is a perfect example because we actually executed this trade in our swing trade room is Apple has put in a nice base in this area again. To me, it looks like just a good place that we could pick up some Apple for a bit longer of a play. Now, with the poor man's covered calls, they're not uh, generally, I don't do them as far out. It's not, in my opinion, as long-term of a play as using in an investment portfolio. This is more of a mid to longer term swing trade portfolio that you would trade this style in. But what we did today, so we bought the 175 call and we picked that thing up out in uh, July 19th. Okay, so July 19th, that is 148 days to expiration. Okay, so we bought a call 175. So it, it's pretty deep in the money and there's very specific reasons why we did that. Um, but we bought the 175 call. And then what we do to create the synthetic or poor man's covered call is we then sold the 190 for 
April 19th. So for looking at getting into this, the, the July 19th, you're looking at about $18 to purchase this long call here. But then by us selling a closer in time call against it, we're able to reduce how much we're into that trade. So the one we sold against it, we were able to sell for about 375, which that takes us down to, what is that, 1425? Mm -hmm. So for an $18 call, we actually just spent only $14 on it. $1,400 versus $18,000. Exactly. And you're controlling the same number of shares. Exactly. And the, the, the great advantage of this type of style is the fact that as you see with, with the, um, the sold call against it, which is ultimately the covered call side of this is set for April 19th. So it is expiring way sooner than July 19th. What that gives us the ability to do is a month from now, we're going to roll that April call out to May. And let's say we roll it out to May and we get another 350. So that then takes our $14.12 buy-in on this trade, takes us down to 1075. And we can keep doing this all the way until we sell a July contract that then matches this and ultimately turns it into a debit spread. But, but by the time we've done that, we will have rolled one, two, a total of three Four. times. Okay, three times, okay. Yeah, so a total of three times. If we've rolled it a total of three times, and this was our original cost basis of $14, and each time, if we're even just getting $3, that's gonna drop our cost basis on this down to about roughly $5. Give or take, yeah. So it, it, it gives you that same benefit, but you kind of, kind of that thing we were talking about of getting into a free trade, how awesome it is when you can accomplish that with stock. Yep. Well, you, you can accomplish it way quicker when doing poor man's covered calls. Yes. Because just imagine if instead of selling the July, we sold out into next year. Yep. We could do and, this and all, the, all the way out. And that's, and, and there are strategies out there that, that they buy those leaps way, you know, one to two years out. Yep. Um, absolutely. And I know. I, I love this. I love this setup that you have, you know, only going out half a year is fantastic. You know, you, you're doing it less than the half a year. You're going out four or five, four or five months at the most. Yeah. I love it. The, the, the benefit of it is, I mean, what we are doing when we accomplish this is each time we're doing these roles, you know, what? one of the big things, and we, we talk about this a lot, uh, you know, at Down to Trade is how to properly trade options because we, when you're not familiar with um, the Greeks and how they affect the trade, mm -hmm. it, lots of times people just get stuck at going, man, how come, how come I'm losing on this trade even though it's above the strike of right. my option? Well, th this is one of those trades that when set up properly, you're always keeping theta on your side. Yep. You know, because one of the things that sucks about leaps is those leaps over time, the closer you get, the more theta eats away, the more value they lose. And that's how, you know, this is a great way to counteract theta is by constantly selling a call against it and rolling it and keeping theta on your side. So you always keep that positive theta. So you're now taking advantage of time instead of getting destroyed by time. And so what happens if your uh, short call goes in the money? Ultimately, the the way, the best thing about this is if it goes in the money, I mean, the worst thing that can happen is, um, you know, you can have the uh, option exercised, but you always have this protection in order to counter it. And most brokers will help initiate that immediately if it's needed. But the thing is, is if you do this strategy properly, most exercising of options happens within the last two to three weeks before expiration. They wait until that last little bit to exercise. And when you trade it the way I do, I never let it get close enough. So 
even when we go into the money on this, it's very unlikely that you're gonna get exercised and we have the ability to just keep rolling it out further until we get to this July expiration. But when you look at it, worst case scenario is if you take it, so let's just say Apple gaps up, uh, gaps up 5% tomorrow and we're immediately upside down, not upside down per se, but we're all into the money on I'm, our sold strike sure call. tomorrow. Okay. You can take this sold call and roll it immediately to July. And now you just have a debit spread. Yeah. And your debit spread is fully in the money. <laughs> so yeah, it is way it, in the money. So not, money. All, not only are you going to capture a credit for rolling this, a pretty huge credit for rolling that to July, but all the gains from this climbing that you captured here are all going to consolidate onto each other. You're just looking good either way. So that's one of the things that I love about it is you 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 have a lot more flexibility. Well, it, but but again, that's that's one of the things that you know you and I discuss all the time is how to properly manage a trade, how to properly manage a yeah. position. It is more important than the entry itself. We we say that constantly. I know everyone in YouTube land is probably sick of hearing me say it, but. Uh, it, it really is true. And I, I love the way you think through every little aspect of this and you have uh, a, a set number of guidelines uh, and, and parameters that you use to manage the trade once you're in it. I, I absolutely love it. Um, this is a fantastic strategy. I can't wait to see where Apple takes us on this one. Yeah, it's I'm looking forward to it. All right. So that's pretty much it. I, again, we we wanted to give a a, a really quick dive into the world of covered calls again um covered calls is a strategy that most traders learn uh you know toward the beginning of their career uh but poor man's covered call or synthetic co uh, covered call is a strategy that you don't hear as often or you don't see as often but it's, it's one that we've used for years and years and years i absolutely love uh poor man's covered call again only because we just we it doesn't take nearly as much buying power I mean, you saw it, it, it changed our buying power by 90%, give or take. Yeah. Um, it decreased our buying power by by about 90% between the two strategies. So uh, in the end, and the, and the it's big fantastic. thing about it is, is profit. Uh, sorry, the big, one of the big things about that is the ability for profitability on it. Yes. So, you know, we, yeah, when you're doing it in your investment account, like what you were talking about, long-term investment, you buy and hold, you just sell calls over it over the long-term. That's great. I mean, I do that also that's what long-term portfolios are for. Right. But if, if you have a mid to longer term swing trade account, which is what I feel this is best for, um, it, it gives you that ability to profit that much more off of the trade. Because right. even if you have the $18,000 to invest in uh, Apple for the price, you can spend that $18,000 and you can get about what? 12 to 14 <laughs> contracts right. instead of only a hundred shares. So right. you're only benefiting off of basically one contract if you just buy the shares, where instead you can get 10 to 14 contracts for the same buying power. Well, exactly. And I completely agree. And that's why for my long-term account using covered calls to me is the benefit of it or the reason I do it is just to lower cost basis. Exactly. Poor man's covered call is an income generating, a, a steady income generating strategy that you can do very, 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 very part time. And it doesn't take a whole lot of dedication or time to set them up or look for the new ones. You can actually set up a, a nice little income generating, uh, you know, machine or vehicle with the poor man's covered call. Uh, but it's, 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 for me, it's a different, different strategy or different mindset or between the two. Uh, one exactly. again is just a lower cost basis. The other one is actual uh, income generating. Exactly. But I love it, man. That's awesome. All right. Well, obviously, if you have any questions about the poor man's cover call or the cover call or any other strategy, anything having to do with options trading, by all means, reach out to us at uh, downtotrade.com. Um, but for right now, very and tell you what, I hear you got a you got a killer back test that you uh, you got set for us. Yeah, I got another one for us to take a look all at. Right. By the way, um, that last one that you talked about last week, we tried it today. I was I was extremely late on my entry, um, but varying you you got in right right on that breakout. 
yep. and that uh that gap up strategy that you that you taught us last week worked out for you just today yes it did yep because the profit target the uh, the market opened like one and a quarter percent uh gap up today i think it was one and a quarter yeah and it it actually broke out of the 15 minute uh range opening range i think at, at minute 16 or 16 or 17 yeah, it, was, it was pretty like much the next minute it was already breaking out i was late to the game but but varian uh got in right away and he was able to knock out that strategy it was fantastic yeah yeah well, thank you for that awesome yeah so uh here uh today looking at another uh spx trade okay so this one is using one day to expiration okay after a five point drop in the spx so this is trade that you open the trade at 10 a.m. or after daily. And this is after a minimum of a five point down move on the SPX. So what you do is you enter a 25 Delta, you sell the 25 Delta put and you buy the 25 Y. So another put credit spread um, and what I found really interesting about this one is so back testing it. And again, part of, you know, the, the crazy thing about how the market has been lately is we've all had to been, be really flexible, uh, really adapt to the way the market has been lately mm -hmm. because it's pretty unique compared to what most of us are used to. So one of the key things that I was checking is like, Hey, how well is this working for this year? Right. And you can see running this back test from January to now. Look at that um, win rate. Yeah. 86% win rate that if we get a five point down move and you can enter the trade after 10 a.m., you have a 30% profit target and a 50% stop loss. Okay. So, I mean, the, the stop loss is pretty decently tight compared to what we're familiar with, with, with most, you know, credit spreads. And yeah, as you can see, 86% win rate, um, average winner of $130 a lot, average loser of $203. Okay. That's awesome. Well, I'll tell you what, can you, uh, would you be able to look at the trade log and let's look at one of them on the chart and see what it actually looks like, uh, when it executes. Yeah, absolutely. So looking at the trade log here, you can see yesterday uh, was the last trigger on this. Yep. So Wednesday, February 21st at 1245 PM. So let's take a look at the chart here. And so as you can see, the, what this is looking for is it is a, you're, you're selling a credit spread when the SPX is down more than five points. So you can see here's the open and down in here it got there, but this is before the execute time of this trade because the trade is from 10 o'clock on. So as we went through the day, we can come over here and here is 1245 right here where it is actually down six points from the open. And that's when the trade executed. So at 1245, it entered the 4920 by 4895 for a total credit of $4 and 60 cents. And it exited that same trade at 343 PM hitting the profit target. So if we look here, 343 is over right in here is where it exited for the profit target. Love it. Absolutely love it. That's fantastic. I like this one, man. Yeah. And like, as you can see, I mean, 86% win rate. And again, I mean, when I show these numbers here, this is based on just a single contract because right. I like to right. see what one contract does. Um, but that's just based on trading this one contract, a total of 29 trades, 25 of them winners, and your average time in the trade is 106 minutes. It doesn't get better than that. Nope. That totally works. Yeah. So looking at that, uh, the win rate and the average winner, average loser, we're talking a, an expected return with just one contract of $84. That is fantastic. I really actually like this one. 
Um, this is uh, one I, th that... I thought it was really interesting <laughs> yeah. when I discovered it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm going to uh, set alerts for this one. All right. Uh, so that's that's pretty much what we have for you today. Um, again, hope you learned something. Um, as always, if, if you got something from this video, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget to leave us a comment down below. Um, that's really going to be it for me. Varian, do you have anything for everybody? Nope, that, that is it. Uh, just, you know, lo love working with everybody, love doing this. And, uh, you know, the best part about the, the community we have is uh, the, the way all of our traders contribute and help us find excellent setups like this. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Other than that, that's going to be it for me. Um, Varian, thank you so much again. And yep, I can't wait to see you tomorrow in the room. Absolutely. And hey, don't forget, uh, check out our free Discord. Link will be down yep. in the video for everybody to come check out. And we've got a free trial for everybody to see exactly how we do this on a daily basis. Absolutely. And right now we we, we still have that grand opening promotion on the uh, swing trade room. Definitely don't want to miss out on that. That's going to be going away here pretty soon. But uh, yeah, other than that, take care, everybody. Happy trading.